What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, we've got some pretty disappointing news. It looks like the new survival horror action fan game Jurassic Park Operations has been officially shut down by Universal, which means that the creators have been contacted and told to cease development on the project. Now I want to go over this in detail because it's something that I think the fan base around Jurassic Park needs to have a discussion on and why this game was so highly anticipated in the first place, as well as its relation to the franchise as a Whole. So for starters, I know it's going to be a bummer for a lot of people to hear that Jurassic Park Operations was cancelled, and if you don't know what it was, it was basically going to be a first-person survival horror game that went through the entire park on Isla Nublar, to a T being very accurate, even adapting stuff like the River Adventure and things from Michael Crichton's novel. It looked really, really good, and even Universal themselves contacted the development team and said, hey, this looks a little too good. It looks very accurate to the films, and they were happy to see that, but they didn't want development on it any further for some very weird reasons, and they cited things like uh, harming the filmmaker's vision of the franchise and, and other stuff like that that I'm, I'm very confused as to why they would say such a thing. My best theory for why the game was cancelled, and I don't know anything, I don't know much about the development of this at all, is that it had something to do with the fact that there was a Patreon account attached to it, because there was no way for anyone to generate money off of this. This game wouldn't have been for sale. It's 100% free. All you gotta do is buy Dreams, which is a software that encourages people to make their own levels within PlayStation 4 and 5, which is what Jurassic Park Operations was going to be coming to. And they put so much work into this. So many fans were excited to see it. And to be completely real with you, this was the most exciting thing that Jurassic Park fans had to look forward to. And it was the one thing that people had been really asking for for years. A lot of that was due to the fact that Jurassic Park Park builders have been around for decades and a lot of people want something different and the fact that Universal immediately not only saw this and saw how cool it was, how well it was made and how much fans wanted to see it, decided to shut it down, it's very, very strange in my opinion. And I think that the channel, that uh, Chronoticon, that actually has been developing this game, and he talks about all this stuff in detail, I would highly recommend going to go subscribe to his channel and check out what he has to say on the project. He's the one making all this stuff. He's, you know, cited that there's other Jurassic Park and World fan games that have been around for years, and they've never come after them at all, so that's very strange, because I literally was about to do a video on my favorite Jurassic Park fan games. I've played so many of them over the years, and Universal never got angry at anybody like that. In fact, they encouraged, I believe, Jurassic Explorer for a very long time, so it's bizarre. I don't really know what's going on here. Again, this game was never meant to be for sale. It's literally a free fan game, so I don't even know if Universal can shut this down. I wonder why they are only now deciding to crack down on fan games. I theorize it could be because of the popularity of Jurassic Park operations, or maybe it's because they're finally working on an official game like this. But who knows? Do I think they're making a survival horror Jurassic Park game? I don't know. Even if they were, why would they shut this down? This would do nothing but boost interest in the brand, and theirs would obviously be better if they're coming from the actual company. <laughs> but that's that's what's that's what's really confusing to me is why this thing got shut down, and it's very disappointing to a lot of the fan base, and they're pretty disappointed, man. I I know that Universal does watch some of my videos, which leaves me a little bit. Uh, feeling like maybe this was my fault because they didn't come after these guys until I talked about it, which is disappointing because Universal, if you're listening to me, help letting these guys license the game, or at the very least letting them continue making the game, would be the smartest thing you guys can do as a brand because I've been seeing fan reactions to this stuff for a long time. Camp Cretaceous Seasons 4 and 5, they weren't very popular. Jurassic World Dominion, I know a lot of people in Universal thought Fallen Kingdom was the dud. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I've heard nothing but people wanting that horror feel and J.A. Bayona directing style back. And that's because the editing of Dominion was just not in its favor. A lot of Jurassic Park fans right now, they want something to look forward to. And we've gotten the same thing over and over and over again. So I just think this is bad publicity on their part. If they're really gonna shut down a game that fans are really interested in playing and it does nothing but boost interest in the 
popularity of the brand, especially around the 30th anniversary. Guys, come on, let these guys continue like making this game or at least let them license it. I don't understand what's going on here because the reason this thing has been so popular, the reason so many people are interested in playing it is because it's literally what fans have been asking for for years. There's no reason why we shouldn't have a first-person survival horror or at least action-adventure style Jurassic game. I'm tired of the complaints about people not being able to shoot dinosaurs. I'm tired of them making dinosaurs child-friendly and goofy. I grew up with Jurassic Park and the Lost World, and even Jurassic Park 3 was more harder edged than what we've been seeing come out for this brand for a long time, and it's really turned a lot of people off, and I know that the reason people were so interested in this, and they would have flocked to buying more Jurassic Park merch, going to go ride the ride, looking forward to future movies, is because this actually celebrated what made people happy about Jurassic Park. A lot of people are confused when they think of the Jurassic Park fan base because publicly it's got this face of, oh, the reason people love Jurassic Park is because that first time you saw the Brachiosaurus eating foliage from a tree and, you know, standing up and the music, da na 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 it's like, oh, you know, that's so beautiful. No, couldn't be further from the truth. That was really cool in Jurassic Park, but what about the Musco fact? Scene. What about the scene in the Lost World Jurassic Park where the T-Rex has pushed the trailer over a cliff or the long grass scene? What about the scene where the Spinosaurus kills Cooper? What about the Indominus Rex killing the ACU team? What about the Raptor, you know, pack going crazy and killing everybody at the end of Jurassic World? The Indoraptor. Like, there's a lot of things in Jurassic Park that are specifically dedicated. If you were a fan of Jurassic Park back in the day, you were a fan because it was known as the brand where dinosaurs attack people. That's why you go see a Jurassic Park movie, that's why you would come play a Jurassic Park game. Robert Muldoon, Roland Timbo, Owen Grady, this is this is it, man. I don't understand why they've neglected all of that stuff. That's why people were so hyped to see this. It wasn't just because it had a beautiful long neck dinosaur. It was because you were in a raft trying to evade a Tyrannosaurus Rex through a small opening and like you could you could die like at any moment. The scare is what makes Jurassic Park separate to Land Before Time, Land of the Lost, all that other stuff. That's what makes Jurassic Jurassic. And I think if you want to be in the good graces of the fans, you probably should allow them to continue this. I'm not saying that they're going to be angry, and I don't think anyone should be angry, but th I don't understand the logic in canceling this game. Before I continue, I want to make it clear the only reason I'm making this video is to update people on the state of our game and why things will be changing. I'm not going to show the letters, but I will summarize the key points they made. But before I do, I just want to say that they were very nice with how they approached me, and I would ask that no one go harassing or attacking Universal over this. I'm very confused, actually, because of all of the other fan games that have been around for so long. And to be completely honest with you, if you did want to make a Jurassic Park game in the future, why not just let this game kind of be a rallying cry to test the waters? You don't have to, like, do anything for promotion. They're just making it themselves, and you could just look what they're doing and say, okay, we're gonna do that, only bigger AAA title on the PlayStation 5 and new Xbox. And I mean, that's, that's what I think anyways. If anything, you should be supporting these guys. They're doing nothing but helping the brand. And I think that's why fans should rally behind Jurassic Park operations. If you really want to do something, then I would encourage you to spread the love and excitement you had for this game. Leave a comment or maybe share this video because the more people that see this, the higher chance we have of maybe just possibly getting permission to continue this game. Seriously, guys, if this stuff looks interesting to you, and if you're interested in having a Jurassic Park game that's different from what we've gotten before, I think you should, like, get behind this game and, and really appreciate it. They've said that going forward, they're going to have to take all of the intellectual property, like, uh, uh, everything that has to do with Jurassic Park itself out of the game in order for them to, you know, put out a product that would be devoid of that sort of name. I don't know what they'd call it, maybe Dino World? or maybe it would be called like the incident of the 1990s. I don't know, but they put in so much hard work. This is a fan dream come true, and it's very disappointing to see this thing just get canceled outright. And it's also very confusing because like I said, we've had these fan games around for years now, so what's wrong? And I don't get it. I, I really don't understand it. This was the most exciting thing the Jurassic Park brand had going for it. If anything, again, Universal should partner with these guys. If they don't want to let them license it, then they should at least say, yeah, we support your game. We're going to have an event at Universal Studios and we're going to actually show Jurassic Park operations there. We're going to get you guys a booth so that we can see, engage the waters if this is really what fans want. 
you don't, I mean, you don't really have to spend a dime. They're doing everything for you, but, and they're not even making money off your IP. That's what's so weird. Anyways, these are all just my own thoughts and opinions on the new Jurassic Park survival horror fan game that got canceled by Universal. And I think I've, I've talked about it enough. I want to hear what all of you guys have to say because, yeah, it's, it's a lot going on here. Anyways, I thought this was going to be really cool and I'd love to see some more information on it in the future. If, you know, whatever they do. These guys are really talented and I thought this was the coolest Jurassic thing ever that we've been getting for years. So whatever your own thoughts and opinions on all this information happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens and engine executives, as well as all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. You've all helped my channel immensely and I'm incredibly grateful for all of that support. Now I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video and hope that you enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you all consider subscribing. I'll see you on the next video guys and as always, take it easy.